Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Lean Media, available from leanmedia.org. And today I'll be talking about using the new Amazon Seller Interface. And let's just go to Amazon Seller Central. And basically, whether you have a professional seller account or you have the free Amazon Seller account, you should see something like this. To see the new, order, uh, the new Manage Orders interface, just click on Orders or Manage Orders, and it will show up. And I wanna show you one thing. Um, when you come to this page for the first time, you should see something like this. And for many people, it will say zero orders in the last 30 days. And you're, you may be thinking, hold, hold on, I've had more than zero orders in the last 30 days. And one thing about the new interface, even though I really actually I like it quite a bit, um, sometimes figuring out how to make it display what you want it to display can be a little bit tricky. So if you see something like this, you may need to check on uh, some of the options that are either up here or over here, these buttons right here. So the first thing you should check is just to make sure the date range shows the, uh, the dates that you wanna see. So by default, I believe it's last day. So it's possible if it's last day, you might not have had any orders and there won't be anything here. But for 30 days, I know I've had some orders, so I should be seeing something here, yet I'm not. The issue here is that you can see it's selected unshipped orders and of course, if you're an Amazon seller, you should know that you should be shipping stuff out right away. There shouldn't be many unshipped orders in the queue, um, except those that have occurred in the last day. But certainly, an, an, you shouldn't have an unshipped order from a week ago in this queue. And that's why it's showing zero. It's because I've shipped everything. To see all the stuff I've shipped, I'd select shipped. Click on that. All right. So here are all the orders that I fulfilled myself in the past 30 days. There's 12 orders. And you can see it lists them. Um, you know, it goes down, I think it's reverse chrono, yeah, reverse chronological, no, it's not reverse chronological orders, from oldest to newest, but you can change that by selecting order date descending, so this would be reverse chronological, this is the most recent order. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can use this to find out more information about a particular order, so I can click on this order number, it'll bring it up, uh, all kinds of information about how much the person paid, the product, etc., this is really useful, your tracking ID. So I use Amazon's uh, postage printing service to create labels and, and it basically automatically feeds the tracking ID right into it. You can click on that to see information about the order. So you can see, I think I dropped it in the mailbox yesterday or the day before. So right now you can see it's left the carrier facility and hopefully it's on, on, on its way to the, uh, the customer who purchased it. That's pretty useful. The other thing you can do that's from the new uh, manage orders interface, and you could actually do this on the old one too, is you can contact the buyer. So if I wanted to let this let this customer know that there's uh, some information about their order that's relevant, um, you know, we're having bad, bad weather and the order may be delayed, um, just a heads up. So you could fill that out select send email and the and the buyer would receive that email. There's other things you can do too in this form. You can ask for feedback. Feedback includes asking for an honest review. You cannot ask people for positive reviews. You cannot offer people you cannot offer people to pay money to give a good review. You cannot ask people to uh, to, to change their review. So use this very sparingly. Definitely do not spam people with requests they do not like that. I, had an, I have another video about this, by the way, on my channel. You can check that out to learn best practices for asking for reviews. And then you can also do things like offer returns or give information about a return, what they need to do, uh, information about refunds, or additional information required. This, um, th this is, as Amazon says, for this order, you can we only send messages that are required to complete the order. And typically what might happen is there might be an issue with their address or there might be some other piece of information that you need to know to complete the order. So. Um, use this uh, intelligently and fairly to c connect with the, uh, the buyer so they get the information that they need. So I just showed you these are manufacturer fulfilled orders. It's also possible to view your FBA orders fulfilled by Amazon. Just by clicking on that link over there, you'll see a similar view. Um, and this is, this is managed orders. This is, this is all of the orders in the last 30 days um, fulfilled by Amazon. It gives the date. It gives the date range there, and uh, basically you can go through and see all of them. So there's quite a few. One thing I like to do is actually sort them sometimes. So 
Of course, I can just click on a single order to see to see what happened with this particular order, and I could go through and find all the other orders for that item. But there's a better way to review them. Um, basically, just take the ASIN, copy it. ASIN is the product ID in Amazon system. Paste it here, search, and then change order ID to ASIN, and hit search. Okay, so that will show all the orders for that particular item, and then you can go through and review them or do whatever you need to do. Other things you can search for are the buyer email, product names, a listing IDs, and if you have a lot of orders over, over a long period of time, this can be really useful to, to drill down and figure out which orders are concerned or to do other things. So overall, I think this is a pretty good interface. Um, if you need to change the view of the information that's being sold, click on Set Table Preferences, and it will show you the different um, bits of information that are shown. So for instance, I, I use ASIN. I don't use really use uh, SKUs. So I could unselect that, deselect that, save preferences, and the SKU would be removed from here. It used to be here. Um, so if you see something in this view that you don't like, you can use Set Table Preferences to alter that. For more information on how to get the most out of your media product in terms of creating the product itself and also for selling it, whether it's on Amazon or some other channel, check out my book, uh, Lean Media, available from leanmedia.org. And also I have quite a few Lean Media videos on YouTube that you can check out. Thank you so much for watching.